guys, my name is Tori Sterling and today I'm going to be showing you guys my sweat proof makeup tutorial. Now I don't have any makeup on right now and this, I wouldn't say it's sweat proof because it's very hard to guarantee that no one is going to sweat through this makeup. But for me, I'm a spin instructor, I teach spin classes and if you guys have ever taken one you know that you sweat um, out of every single pore in your body. And for me especially, I sweat a lot and um, this is the makeup that I always wear. Now, when I was just a client and would take spin classes, I wouldn't always wear makeup, but when I um, am, in am instructing, I do like wearing makeup because it just makes me feel a little bit better about myself when I instruct. Um, I find that I actually do a little bit better, which is weird, but it's just sort of like a thing in my head. And um, a lot of times I fake tan, so I do like to put on a little bit of face makeup anyway, just to even out my skin and my face. So yeah, with all that being said, Let's get into it. So the first thing that I do is make sure that my skin is ready for makeup to go on and to be sweat on top of. So this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Um, and then I'll show you guys right after class so that you guys can see how my makeup lasted, if it did last. This is what I always do, so it pretty much does last. Um, I mean, it's not horrible after class, but it's not, it doesn't look like a fresh face of makeup, but it does, this is like my workout makeup routine. So unless I have already a full face of makeup on and I work out, which I do do sometimes, um, I don't like to wear a foundation when I work out. What I do like to wear when I work out is BB creams and tinted moisturizers. So this is my favorite combo. It has been for the past year now. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Complexion Perfector and the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. I mix these two together. This one alone is a little splotchy. Um, but when you mix it with the Maybelline, it smooths it all out and also it's two different tones so it really just customizes the shade perfect to my skin. And I just put this on with my fingers because normally when I do this right before a workout, I'm like kind of in a rush like I am right now. So I don't really spend too much time making it look perfect with the brush and everything. I mean, I am just going to work out. But I do make sure I get this everywhere on my eyelids, all around. Then once I feel that it looks pretty good and blended in, I move on to the next step. This is super easy. This takes me like five minutes or so. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't today. I will just to show you. But I go in with some concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I like this because it's a water-based concealer, so it's very light coverage um, and light on my skin. So I just put a little, like literally that's it, just a little tiny bit. And I just blend it in with my finger. This is a very minimalistic makeup look. This is a really good look if you're like going to work or something and then you have like a class right after work or if you like to work out during the day or whatever. This is a really good look to wear during the day and then to wear out um, and then to wear to your workout class at night because it, it's going to last but it looks like an everyday natural look too. Alright, then I'm going to set my under eyes with the RCMA No Color Powder. Then to set the rest of my face, I definitely make sure I set my face or else it literally does just slide off of me. This is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Powder. And I just take this on a big brush and I just set everywhere else. All right, and then that's it for the skin. Um, that's all that I do. I don't put on highlight, bronze or anything because I especially don't put on blush because I get red in there. Um, but I don't do highlight because I sweat and stuff. So there's no, like, no need. Um, my brows, I really have been enjoying the thickness and shape of my brows lately. So when it's for a routine like this to work out, I just go in and fill in the sparse little areas and kind of just help define the shape a little tiny bit. And I just go right here in the front and buff that together. Like that. And that's it. It's really simple for my brows these days. I know a lot of guys especially have a huge issue with girls wearing makeup to the gym, which honestly, um, I don't know why because you're not wearing the makeup, so why does it bother you? But um, I know a lot of people ask me, does it clog your skin? Isn't wearing makeup bad for your pores when you work out? Um, the answer is traditionally, yes, it should clog your skin and your pores and it should not be good for your skin, but my skin can handle it. My skin is, I was blessed with amazing, beautiful skin and I know that. My skin can handle it. My skin takes it very, very well, so I do it. I also know a lot of people that can't not work out without makeup on, so sometimes people need it for like little confidence boost. So um, honestly, if it's not on your face, 
don't be worrying about it. <laughs> this is it. This is the last thing that I do for my makeup routine. And I'll also show you guys like what I like to do with my hair as well. Um, but for my makeup, I just throw on a mascara. And the key here is waterproof mascara. I have gone in fake eyelashes before and non-waterproof mascara. And they have held up. But when I'm teaching, I don't want to be worrying about my makeup or my eyelashes coming off. So these two products are what I really trust. And um, I think they look the best. When I do wear lashes though, Duo Lash Glue really does keep your lashes on the entire time. But I wouldn't recommend wearing fake eyelashes because if you sweat a lot, the sweat can get in the lashes themselves and it kind of does ruin the hairs and the bristles and the lashes. So um, I wouldn't recommend it, but I've done it so many times before and they do stay on, but they do kind of ruin the lashes. I like to put mascara on my upper and lower lashes. So the mascaras that I use are the Benefit They're Real and the Too Faced Waterproof Better Than Sex. I first do the Benefit They're Real. I always do the non-waterproof first and then I seal it all in with a waterproof mascara. I just put They're Real on my upper lashes, not on the lower lashes. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with the waterproof one and seal in my upper lashes. And then what's ever left on my brush is what I put onto my lower lashes. I don't wear lip gloss, I don't wear lip products because honestly I cannot do my spin classes. I can't work out, I can't do anything if I have um, anything but chapstick on. Lip gloss, it gets, it gets like annoying and in the way. Um, and without anything on my lips, I like just chew with them the whole time. So I need something on my lips and that is chapstick. So this is um, just Jack Black chapstick. Okay, this is setting spray. Setting spray is very crucial. You can use whatever works for you. I always switch up a ton. I have Urban Decay All Nighter over there. Um, sometimes I'll just go back in with the Smashbox Primer Water and use this to set. But right now I'm using Model in a Bottle. This is like really old, but every makeup artist will like swear by this because it was like the thing to, 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 to spray on your face. Now let's do my hair and then I am out of here. So with my hair, I have tape-in hair extensions. So a lot of the times my natural hair is one texture and then the extensions are another texture. You can definitely tell the line right now because they are not blended at all. And um, this is ratchet because I haven't done anything with my hair since I woke up today. If my hair is like natural, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just quickly run over my hair with a flat iron and like kind of straighten it a little bit. Um, but I'm not gonna do that today because my hair has a little bit of body to it from the curls that I had in yesterday. Um, I'll link that video below. It was like my get ready with me in real time. But what I do for my hair when I'm pulling it back into a ponytail is I always straighten the top layer because when I pull it back, when this is frizzy, the whole ponytail looks really bad. So I always straighten the top layer and these little pieces around my face. I just gather it like this. In the back so then once it's there I just secure it I always do two ponytails I need to go get another one hang on and because my hair is blonde and I have like chemical cuts all over the place um, little hairs always come down so I just sort of pull them down before they have the chance to fall down and then I just straighten this down or else it kind of sticks like straight out okay so this is it all right, let's go to my spin class and I'll show you guys afterwards. Also, I thought I'd show you guys what I'm wearing just because why not? So this top is from Lulu. These pants, that's a bug bite, um, mosquito season. These pants are Fast and the Free pants from Lulu. They are my favorite. And then my sports bra, which I'm gonna just spin in, is also from Lulu and it's the energy bra. All right, so class it just ended. Um, this is how it look. You can probably still hear the music in the background from class. My playlist is playing again. But my mascara, um, as you can see, it holds up pretty well. I have like a little excess over here. Um, but yeah, it holds up pretty good. Um, my makeup kind of like balls up in some places. But I mean, I don't think I look horrible after class. I mean, I definitely could look way more like a mess. And some people are going to sweat more than this. Some people are going to sweat less than this. So it really just depends on um, you, your skin, and um, how it is. But yeah, this is right after class after I stop sweating. My biggest tip though when you are working out is to not wipe your face down with a towel. Like when I sweat, 
I sweat a lot, but when I sweat, I just let it roll off of me. I don't really pat myself down or I don't wipe myself off with a towel. I'll pat my mouth down because when I talk and stuff, I sweat in front of my mouth. I'll like, it flies out when I'm talking on the microphone, so that's not good. Let's go turn the music off. Sophie. So yeah, this is um, where I teach spin classes, get spin bikes. Obviously no one's in here right now because class just got done. But, um, oops, someone left their water. That was Maddie. But yeah, this is um, my makeup afterwards. As you guys can see, I'm a little red. Um, so the foundation doesn't really like cover up redness because I just get so red. But it does make me stay matched to my like skin tone, um, to like the rest of my body and stuff. So yeah. I'm just going to end it here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little workout routine, workout makeup routine, sweatproof makeup tutorial, um, all that jazz. So let me get out of this weird light. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Um, if you guys want to see my last fitness vlog, that's right here. My last video is right here. Love you guys so much. Have a good day. Bye.